Okay, welcome back. By the end of this class, we shall be having something like this. Inshallah. So it's becoming more beautiful. I have the lamp. So how did we achieve all this? Let's quickly go together and see. This is where we stopped. Edda branding. Then we said floats left. So let's quickly view this. This is what it looks like the last time that the lesson we had last okay so now let's start working on it one after the other let's let me quickly show you that here inside our header we have this navigator that we declared so and that is what we want to style now So we said our navigator should move to float to the right. The margin top 10 pixels, I don't think this 10 pixels will be enough. But let's quickly view this and see if it's going to be appearing that way. But it seems it is closer to this upper, it is closer to up than this. So we want it to actually be at the middle. Let's change our pixel to like 20 pixels. Our margin top. There is power back on that here. So let's quickly check 25 pixel and see the outcome. Okay, nice. So now let's check. So now we have seen float right and we have seen margin top 25 pixel inside our header so we declare current inside header we have anchor tag inside current then look at this now so this is our header then we have this current here under our list because it's under about so this current now falls under about.com are you getting it now so class name of what current then anchor tag inside that class name of current so now what do we mean by this is that we want we want our current that anchor tag that has current so we want it to be to have a special color from other menus so i declare this color and then i make it a font weight to be bold let's quickly check what i mean so look at this now you will see that everything here has this pink color we don't even know which page we are are we on our own page or about page or services page but now that effect i just added to it will make our current page to have a distinct color so let's see this aha uh -huh. so this let us know now that we are on on our own page so if you click on about when it get there it's changed this color it changed to this color too so when you click on services it it takes the color remember that is the reason why i put my class current on different on um, on different anchor tag depending on the page we were coding then under html so this is the reason so this this is home this is about and this is services okay so let's quickly check uh the last one for today so as to so the last thing i we want to talk about over look here i i know i've told you did that this one is anchor tag inside class of current inside header okay so now anchor tag inside header but this anchor tag what do i want to do with it then it is over so you put colon then you say over 
So it's a kind of selector specificity. Uh, specificity. So, so we want to be specific. Like, what do you mean by order? Oh, and over. Let me see if there's something like that here. A kind of situation whereby when your mouse pointer, it's on something and it changes color. So that is what over is all about. So when it is here, it's not going to be there permanently until this mouse pointer stays on it. So it's go that is when this uh, styling is going to have effect. So now I want it to be in such a way that when my mouse is on any of the anchor tag, it should bring out black color, then it should appear bold. I get it now, it should appear bold. If I can give it a font size to make it bigger than its normal size, if you like, you can add that too. What have you done to my baby? So you can actually add that too. Then let's come here and see what I mean. So it has been refreshed now, but you're not going to see that effect because I've not taken this. So let's see now. You see? So if my mouse pointer comes here now, it changes color to black. This one to change this color to black, and this one to change this color to black. Okay, that is what we have to learn today. See you in the next class. Okay.